Lesson study shares uh, some of the same challenges that are going to be inherent to any aspect of the Teaching American History program, uh, but it has some benefits that aren't necessarily going to be there through other approaches. The challenges, you know, uh, for most of our teachers, uh, the teaching of history is uh, something that may be a passion of theirs and an interest of theirs, but they're getting very little external uh, encouragement to deepen their connection to teaching history. If they're a high school teacher, they're also a coach, and their uh, administration is typically more interested in the team than in what's going on in the history class. If they're a middle school teacher, they're typically also a language arts teacher, and there's more emphasis on the language arts than on the history. If they're an elementary school teacher, there's more emphasis on everything else except for the history. Um, that said, the uh, collaborative nature of uh, creating a, a mutual support group through throwing yourself into a kind of a, uh, a vulnerable situation together uh, creates some bonds that, that support, support each other. In collaborative groups, you're always seeking to develop norms that uh, affirm everybody in the group and keep the group uh, moving on a, a forward-moving uh, trajectory. That said, people being people, you know, there, there can be bumps in the road as to how groups work together. Uh, the thing about lesson study is that Ultimately, the, the, the proof is in the pudding. If students take off with the lesson, then you see that, and that tells you that, that that was a good strategy, that was a good approach. If students don't, then you see that, and it makes you reconsider. If, uh, if teachers are talking about a lesson apart from students, their commitments to different approaches are personality-driven. Once students are brought in, it's harder to say, I know that this strategy works if it doesn't or uh, if, if it hasn't been tested.